okay, I think this is a really good project idea if you don't have project ideas, right? And this is build an API for any of the shows that you watch. So I am a huge fan of Pinky Blinders and I realize there is no API that exists. So I'm going to build an API for that specific show. So this show has six seasons and each season has episodes, right? Imagine all the API endpoints that you can have for this show. And I want to try to use Fast API, which I've heard about a lot. And it's a API framework that allows you to build APIs in Python. So we'll be using Fast today. I've always used Flask before, and I wanted to give Fast API a try. So yeah, welcome to another video. And for this one, I want to try something that my friend Gwen does. She makes these tutorial videos, but more of a vlog style. So I'm going to take a try on it. I don't know if I'll do these in the future, but I want to give it a try, show you a project that I'm building and I want to do it in vlog style. So far, I've explored the documentation on Fast API and how to get the JSON data as an output for my API. This is a basic hello world example. I have the data.json, which would have seasons and episodes. And then what I really liked about Fast API is you get API documentation right with the framework, which is awesome. So going through some more libraries that are available to make my task easier. I also have the season list, so I would have to manually get all this data into the JSON that I have here. So what season number one is, what each episode is. So I'll see you after another working session and I've got the right playlist to work on this project. So I recently found this weird hobby of listening to movie soundtracks. Especially, you know, with the Oppenheimer, can you hear the music? It's just awesome. Okay, so I've done some more work and the project is looking good. We're getting the JSON data, as you can see in the first monitor here, as a response to the API when you make. Also, the documentation looks amazing uh, from Fast API library itself but I think I'll use OBS to share uh, the code. So we have got the API endpoint, as you can see here, and I'm calling the seasons endpoint, and you're getting each episode. Again, this is just boilerplate JSON that I created. I'll be filling in the details using IMDB, working as expected. But the other thing that I really like, as I said earlier too, is the documentation that's available. So if you go to slash docs endpoint here, you can see all the API endpoints that you can call to make what kind of requests. So here you can see you can do get API slash season request, which will give you all seasons. You can also query this API to get season by number, get episodes by season, and get episode by number, and get cast. And then you can also see the schemas here, which is awesome. You know, you need good documentation for your API. Uh, let's go over some code here. So on the top, you got your basic imports, all the libraries that I'll be using. The main one here was the Fast API, since I haven't used Fast API. I've been developing most of the API stuff using Flask. And so far, my experience has been really good. And then uh, you're also reading the data from the data.json, which is in the data directory, as you can see here, right here. And you have me defining some classes here. So I have the episode, class, the season, and the cast member. And then we are initiating the Fast API. I also have plans to make a home page for the web app. So even though this will be an API, I do want to make maybe a front end later, uh, which would display the data. But for now, it will just be a simple home page saying, hey, welcome to Peaky Blinders API or something. So now we have got our routes. Um, I've got the home route, which would get the index.html. As I said, this will be the home page of the Peaky Blinders API. And then we have got API slash seasons, which would get the seasons data, which we are retrieving 
from our data.json, right, from the JSON file. And then you can see some magic happening on the seasons slash whatever the season number you're looking for and some logic to return that specific season data. I'm doing that similarly on getting the episodes for those season, right? So same logic. And then if you query for a season that doesn't exist, so let's say we query season six because I believe Peaky Blinders only have six seasons. Here we go. You will get a 404 with the details saying season not found. And then I also have the slash episodes endpoint and you can query this by the episode number. I think I did a mistake here because I want this to have the season number before. Yeah, as I'm talking through this, I think I made a mistake here. We will need some representation of season because you can't just put six here and expect it to return all six episodes, right? From all seasons. So yeah, some value here for a season so that you can carry each season, each episode for each season. And then you also have uh, endpoint to get the cast details. Uh, I have them at the bottom here, as you can see. Killian Murphy, Paul Anderson, Joe Cole, and then I'll keep on adding as I'm going through that IMDb page. Um, but yeah, that's all the Python code that I wrote for the API now. As I'm going through this, I can see how some adjustments need to be made. Time to work on the homepage. A few moments later. Okay, so fast forward a bit. I have the homepage ready. Nothing fancy. I love GitHub Copilot. I'm not gonna lie. Most of this was generated by GitHub Copilot apart from the font. So I had a font in mind that was really close to the Peaky Blinders font, right? So I wanted to use that. And then most of it was generated by GitHub Copilot. So if we go to the homepage now, which is the local host port 8000, you can see it says Peaky Blinders API, nothing fancy, and then has a link to the docs. So you go to the docs and you can learn about how to call this API and which endpoints exist. So the project is built, I'll make some enhancements, but the next part could be, you know, how to host this. I have a few different options that I want to try. One of them includes containerization. Of course, I want to try, uh, you know, making this as a container and hosting it on the cloud. So yeah, comment down if you like this type of content and more of a log style, but also includes coding. Also, I want to do more Python content, so let me know. Peace.